Okay, this is question number five on the free response. Um, part A was P equals negative two-fifths X plus 80. And now we're moving on to part B, which asks, express the revenue R in terms of X. So they're saying, express R, which is the revenue, in terms of X. So we're finding R in terms of X. What is that? Okay, so again, I've written down exactly what they're asking me in terms of mathematical equations. That way, I can relate those to the equations that we see in class. We have to translate words into equations, okay? So, remember that in class, it was said that R, the revenue, is the price times the number of units. So, in this case, we already know the price because we sell for part A. So, let's plug that in negative two-fifths x plus 80 times x and then we have to factor it in you don't want to leave it like that because they asked you for r in terms of x so you just want to get all the parentheses and just express have one expression instead of different factors like this so this becomes negative two-fifths x squared plus 80x equals r. So I think I've reached my final solution. Let me go check. So r has to be in terms of x. And so here r is in terms of x. So I must be done. Many people get confused and they think that the answer they have to find is an actual number. You know, r is the value of uh, dollar amounts. So sometimes people think that they have to find some number like $40 at the end. So you go back and, and make sure you're answering the question. You don't have to find a number, and you know that because it's telling you that fi to find it R in terms of X. Okay? So this is the end of part B.